when we're trying to bring something positive to the city of Laredo. Let me tell you, we can't continue to shoot ourselves in the foot and compare us to McAllen and to say that, you know, things are so swell. But let me tell you something. I work for the people of the city of Laredo. If we here in the city of Laredo, we don't take care of business and take care of ourselves, nobody will. And yes, we will compete, but McAllen and the Valley doesn't have the traffic that we have, the commerce that we have. And in fact, just briefly, I just want to tell you that when we got funding and from Washington for the um, uh, COPS program for SAFER, Laredo was the only border city to get money. And you know why that money comes? Is because you meet face to face with those folks and they remember you. It's called lobbying and working hard. And that face to face contacts bring results. I didn't see that in the article, what we have accomplished. Cuatro Vientos, a city in East Texas was gonna get the money. We got the over $49 million. So it's unfair for us to have to face the challenges and the criticism, and that's okay, we could be criticized, we could face it. But I've gotta tell you, excuse me, sir. Um, you're distracting me a little bit because I'm really, I'm really concerned that when we say and when they tell it, let's all work hard. Let's all come to the meetings. Let's come to do this. And then you stab us in the back. That's not the way business is done. I'm proud to serve the people of Laredo. And it's a 24-7 job. And I'm proud of it. And these individuals that I work with, we get the calls every day, all hours of the night. And then to get that, <laughs> that's something really hard to consume very hard. The information that was stated was not only misleading, but it was inaccurate. S the city has had over 30 meetings, when we went to Austin, 30 minutes in three days. And those people remember Laredo. McAllen doesn't uh, depict the success ratio, the COPS and the SAFER grants, where we got more than $8 million. Nobody else got COPS money along the border except the city of Laredo. I s did not see that on the front page of the article. The Valley, McAllen invited uh, legislators at the expense of the Valley for uh, three days and four nights. They sent staff from Austin for one day, but they had already uh, toured uh, legislators in the Valley a week before. And they brought their families and the airline was paid for them. So I think this is something that has to be said. Uh, let me just tell you that uh, they talked about the hotel bills. Well, everybody is in Austin. The legislature is in session and the prices are what the prices are. And that's the way it is. But let me tell you, when we go and whether we go to Washington or Austin or wherever we go. We represent the city of Laredo. And I believe in the city of Laredo. And I will stand up for the city of Laredo every time. But I think when you print inaccurate information, it is not acceptable. Because when, when I saw this article, man. But then they say, let's work together. Let's be together. Let's march together. And then bad news. But you know what we're going to continue to do? I'm very proud of the staff. I'm very proud of the city. I'm proud of my colleagues here. And let me tell you something. We are going to take care of business, and we have. And Mr. City Manager, I would like to ask you and staff to, uh, I know that at one time we had an estimate of how, or how, much, how many grants and how much money we received in recent years. When you talk about the airport, Mr. City Manager, when you talk about a lot of projects that we've gotten, and let me tell you something, it makes a difference. When we were in Washington last uh, couple of weeks ago, we had a meeting with the new Senator, Ted Cruz. We spent 40 minutes with him. The staff, is, the fellows that were council member, my colleagues that were there, and you recall, they kept saying, Senator, you got our next meeting, you got our next meeting. No, I wanna talk to the folks of Laredo. And right now with the sequestration, it's even more important 
for us to, uh, to do our part and to do our lobbying. So I, I hope that, uh, I know that staff has already provided uh, uh, the media with, the, uh, uh, with some of the accurate information. And um, we need to work together. We keep it, we have to keep it on a positive note. But I will tell you this, wherever I go, I always make sure that I make sure that people remember who we are and what we're about and what we're trying to accomplish. And uh, we'll provide that information, Mr. City Manager, yes, to sir. those who would like to inquire. But let's keep it on a positive note. This is a great city, Laredo. It's a great city. We gotta work together. And if you say work together, practice what you preach.